at the United Nations, foreign ministers from an Arab Islamic bloc of countries with the aim not just of extending the ceasefire, but ending the war altogether. So we are here to make a clear statement that a truce is not enough. What is needed is a ceasefire. What is needed is a credible peace and a peace that lasts and that allows the Palestinians and the Israelis to live side by side in two states. Anything else will result in continuing crisis in the region. The UN Secretary General began the meeting by saying that while the aid entering Gaza has increased during the current pause in hostilities, it is not nearly enough. Intense negotiations are taking place to prolong the truce, which we strongly welcome. But we believe we need a true humanitarian ceasefire. Qatar has been a key player in the negotiations to end the fighting. We hope that the progress made will underpin efforts to put an end to the bloodshed and lead, ultimately, to serious discussions that would relaunch a political process to put an end to the suffering and realize the aspirations of the Palestinian people. The United States, Israel's most loyal ally in the UN, continues to call for a longer pause, but not a full end to Israel's bombardment of Gaza. We want to see this humanitarian pause extended. Israel has been very clear that it is prepared to continue the pause in fighting for every day that Hamas releases an additional 10 hostages. The ball is now in Hamas's court. Here in the halls of the United Nations, it's clear that the pause in fighting was welcomed, but now worry that it was only temporary and that if or when Israel decides to resume its bombardment of Gaza, it will likely mean that more innocent civilians are killed and a setback in diplomatic efforts. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.